I really want to reach out today to parents of players. I want to reach out to players also today, but I really want to really want to talk to the parents. And really want you guys' ear on this subject. This is Coach Rowe with Players First. Uh, today I'm I'm super, super into this subject. And I'm gonna have a I was gonna have a podcast um, guest today, and I was gonna do a little bit of, of footage from that podcast also on subject of, of basketball and this time of the year of tryouts and you know beginning of high school season. But I'm trying to switch gears a little bit. I've heard a couple of stories. One story I heard, um, well, two stories I heard last night, two stories I heard today already. And this is a subject I think that um, a lot of people could could use some insight on. And I want to give my, my, my thoughts on this subject. And it's kind of a little bit more serious subject than I normally am. I'm a little bit more direct today, a little bit more serious in my, in my tone of voice, if you could tell. Teams are being selected. JV, varsity, freshman teams, kids are being put on teams, kids are being, you know, um, are being categorized onto a certain team. I'm a high school coach. I'm also a competitive summer coach. And let me tell you, a lot of times during the season, and I'm also a college scout, so I've seen this from the other side, from the stands, a lot of times during the season we have kids that start on a JV team that we'll move up to a varsity team as that as we see that we need them or as we see that what we're seeing in practice does translate the games or that they're they're a little bit better than what we thought they were and they, they get a little bit out of that tryouts period and they're not as nervous and so we have kids that swing or kids that fluctuate a lot of parents and you know I guess trainers and AAU coaches they want to give their opinion about where kids should be and that's just not something that we should as, as good basketball parents and as good coaches and as good trainers that we should be partaking in. We don't know the makeup of the team. We don't know the the the, the way the team's gonna play or the, the style of play they're going to then and they're going to be performing with, the defenses are going to be running, the competition they're going to be playing against, what kind of strengths or weaknesses that, that team needs to, to fill in and void that they might have, and where these players fit into systems. I think what we should be doing is not condemning or trash talking high school coaches or the decisions that these that these wonderful high school coaches are making, but we should be supporting them. I'm going to tell you right now, parents, my biggest words of advice to you is if your kid comes back and says, I'm on the freshman team or I'm on the JV team or I'm on the varsity team, but I'm a sub, you should be the most supportive, positive person in the room. Not question, well, why is that? Or what didn't go well at practice? Or what did that didn't happen? But instead, I'm super proud of you. Where is the schedule? Where do we need to be? Coach, how, you know, I'm so excited. I'm glad you took her on the team. I'm glad you put her put him or her on the team. Thank you. Not why. Why has various amounts of answers. And some of them are subjective. And some of them are, are with personnel and some of them are things that are with other players that they just can't discuss. It should not be a why. It should be my kid made a team. I'm proud of that. I'm making it a positive. I can assure you of this much. I've seen this a million times. The parents who ask why and who complain about that and trash talk that are whose AAU coaches are whose trainers trash talk that and say, oh, they're getting a bad deal or it's politics or and always making excuses are the ones who are not giving that player what they actually need. What they need is they need positive support. They need positivity. They want to know that it's okay that's the team they made. They want to know they can make the best out of this situation. They want to know how good that is, that you made a team. Now the hard work begins. Going out there and proving yourself. Going out there and being positive. Going out there and being giving energy. Going out there and helping your teammates. Going out there getting 1% better every single day. People don't realize if you went to high school practice and you got 1% better. 1% better every single day. People are like, that's 1%. I want them to get 10% better. No, if you just got 1% better every single day, and then in 100 days, you're 100% better. You're a whole different player. If you stay positive, parents, your child comes home and says, I'm on the JV team and I'm not going to be swinging, but I'm I'm on the JV team. You should be like, I'm so happy. You made the JV team. Now go out there and show out. Now go out there and dominate. Now go out there and show what you could do. This is going to be a great season. And that, that encouragement, that positively, 
Positivity is going to go so much further. So much further. I've actually seen parents who have taken this approach and have taken their kids from being what their kid was, what their kid was, was an average JV player to being a varsity player within that same year. Because that kid now had left that house every day with a sense of confidence and accomplishment and positivity. And they went out there into the basketball court and they started playing up to their abilities. And when they started doing that, we saw a whole different player. Now, because it's like, okay, that's what I thought her skill was showing she could do or he could do. But he wasn't doing that in the court because he was nervous. He was unconfident. Now he's got his parents behind him. He's got his AAU coach behind him. He's got, he's got his trainers behind him. Now this, this, this young person is built up. They're on top of a plateau. They're high. They're ready to go conquer the world. And when you give kids that kind of, that kind of encouragement and that kind of positivity, believe me, they'll go out there and do things that, that will amaze themselves. We're, the team that they're on doesn't categorize the player that they're going to be for life. And we have thousands of, of, of stories, you know, Michael Jordan, the JV player, and all of those things, which are all those things are true, and all those things are used to uplift kids. But this, this is not uplifting your, this is not to tell your kid a story about how they can overcome. This is to, for you to help your child overcome. For your child to know that you're, you're, you're support behind them. You, you're supporting the coach. You're supporting the team. You're supporting them. And that this isn't a category or a, a level that they're going to be at forever. They can rise. They can, but positivity, they can go above anything. What they need to do is they need to know that you believe in them. They need to know that you support them and that you're happy for them and you're, you're wanting to encourage them. And once they have that, once they have that, you're turning the corner. They're turning the corner. The sky's the limit after that. I can't stress this enough. You should be positive about whatever situation your child comes home with concerning freshman, JV, or varsity teams. Your positivity and encouragement will benefit them thousandfold over you questioning the coach on those things. Coaching is not easy. Making those decisions is not easy. The hardest thing I've seen coaches do is have to talk to a, a young person about this because Coaches inherently are not mean. We're all people. We want what's best for young people. We want them to be encouraged. And we want them to, to, to have accomplishments. We have to make the hard decisions about what's best for the team, what's best for each individual person as well. And sometimes those things don't go hand in hand. And sometimes we have to let some people prove themselves down in some of the lower teams in order to raise them up to the highest team. And that's, that's just the coaching. That's the field of coaching. It's not an easy cut and dry system. As parents, we should be more supportive of those decisions. We should be some more supportive of our kids and more positive. That will go so much further than going the other direction. As trainers and as coaches, as summer league coaches and as trainers, we should be supportive of those kids. You made the JV. This is what you could do on JV. This is how hard you can go. This is these are the moves that you can use really to to showcase what you can do. You should be you go out there and kill it. I'm so excited for you. I'm going to come to see your games. Get me a schedule. Those are things that we should be telling these kids. Not why. I even had a story where a summer program told a young person they don't need to play high school basketball because last year as a freshman they were putting the freshman team. You don't need to play high school basketball. You can come play for our program. You don't need to play high school basketball. That's awful easy for someone who's to say to another to a young person when that's not the road they took. That's not the road that that summer coach took, choosing not to play. This is somebody who was put on a freshman team, was a major part of that freshman team, but was told you don't need to play. And was given negative reinforcement about the fact that we're in the freshman team by all parties involved and didn't have a very successful year or didn't have as accessible of a year as they could have because they always felt like they were being done wrong. And that doesn't lead to a good culture. Not only a good culture on the team, but a good culture at home, a good culture within that person. 
within that player. The more positive culture we can create within that player, the more positive results they're going to have. The old saying, you dress for success. You dress that way because you're confident to dress that way. Because you're positive about your success. Same thing. You're positive about the results about the team you're going to be on. You're going to have positive results. And those results sometimes are going to surprise coaches. And they're going to raise you up to the, the ranks they need you at. They want to win games. Nobody wants to lose games. There's no coaches sitting at home right now thinking, what's the best way I can lose these five or six games? No, no one does that. Well, I'm not going to play little Jane, little Jane because we might win a game. No, There's no coach sitting at home doing that. They need your support. They need your players to be positive. They need your players to contribute to the team that they've been selected for. And then they need for your, your players to do the best of their abilities and prove them wrong. And if your child's playing for somebody who thinks that it is okay or is it is it is the appropriate thing to talk negative about their high school coach continuously or to degrade their high school team or to give them advice about not playing basketball at all, you're in the wrong program. You're with the wrong trainer. There's too much negativity in this world for us to have people who contribute to it. Positivity with basketball, with all athletes, with all students, with all young people will lead you further than negativity ever will. I cannot stress this enough. We need to raise these young people's self-esteem and self-confidence up. Once we do that, they'll play and act and perform how we expect them to play, act, and perform. Parents, this is not a reflection on you. My kid's on JV. I'm embarrassed. That, that's nonsense. I heard that this morning. You're embarrassed of what? That your kid was picked on to be on a team? You know there were some kids not picked to be on that team? Your kid was picked to be on that team not just because of skill, but because of the way that they carry themselves on the court and off the court. I know some kids that didn't get pick, be picked on teams who are horrible students, and that's because they don't qualify to be on the team. Are the troublemakers? And the coach is like, you know what? This is what I need you to do. He laid out parameters to the, to the kids. This is what you needed to do. And then the two days of tryouts we just went through, they'd already gotten in trouble twice. He was a great player. Or she's a great player, but I can't use her because she's already in detention for the next five days. Two days into the season. Your child got picked to be on a team. It's not a reflection of you. What's a reflection on you is how your child responds to the team that they're on. That's a direct reflection on you. How do they respond to this? Are they upbeat, taking advantage of the opportunity to be on the floor, getting better every single day, making sure that they make the most of it, making memories with their teammates, supporting their school, and being a big part of their team success? That's a reflection on you. That's a direct reflection on you. The team that they're on is no reflection on anyone. It's not even a reflection on their abilities. It's on where they stand within this team at this time. That's all. I can't stress this more. Please do not think that you are helping your player by casting a negative vibe onto the coach, the team, or onto them about what level they got to play at. And if your kid got to play varsity, got picked to be on the varsity team, be happy, be supportive, but remind them, now it's time to go to work. Because there's some girls on the JV or some boys on the JV, some boys on that freshman team who are shooting for you. All being put on the varsity did was put a big target in your back for somebody to, to go at you every day. And prove that they're better than you. So now's the time to get to work. Nice job. Love it. Can't wait for the season to start. You're going to be working hard and killing kids on varsity. But you better start putting in work. You better start taking this book work seriously in the classroom. You better start behaving. You better start getting some extra shots in. You better start finding a way to fit that weightlifting in to your daily schedule. You need to do a little bit of extra conditioning. Hey, there's no Saturdays and Sundays off. You need to find a gym, find a court, find a a basket somewhere, you need to get some shots up. You need to get those handles sharp. 
What do you think your weaknesses are compared to other people in your school? What are your are you on your team? What are your weaknesses compared to other people on, in your conference? What are the weaknesses you have compared to other people in your district? Work on your game. Being varsity doesn't mean that you're the top of the totem pole. It means you're the first person to get taken down. That's what being varsity means. Still an encouragement. Still positivity. Still, you know what? You can do this. You made the, You made it to this level. Now you need to enhance that. Now you need to improve that. Now you need to go further than this. Don't be. Don't settle for this. We need to be encouraging all of these things. If we do that, we're going to make every single one of these teams so much better, which in turn is going to make every single one of the every single league that we have better, which is making overall youth basketball better. The improvement of youth basketball in the United States does not come from us adding 18 million more games to young players or us adding 18 million more skills trainings. What improves it the most is the way we as coaches, parents, and trainers encourage and treat our the youth of basketball with positivity and with the things that we're trying to, to get across to them. That's what's going to make the biggest impact on basketball. The more we come together and encourage these young people to strive to be the best. And then give them the fundamental tools in order to do that. This is such an important subject. This is such a, a, a wide range. I, I can't, I, I'd love to hear people's outlooks and respect and, and I will respect their opinions on this. But I'm telling you right here today, no matter what team your child comes on, comes in on, please treat that team and their and that and that decision with positivity, encouragement, and support. Because your young person wants that. They need that. They desire that. And they'll react to that. Don't go out there and they'll perform at the level that they that you know they can perform. I know that some of you are disappointed in the teams. I know some of you players are disappointed in the team you're on. It's time to go out there and prove. High school season is about what can you prove? What did you prove yesterday? And can you can you improve on that improvement? Can you improve on that today? Every single day is improving grounds. There's no days off. Go out there and prove yourself. It's as simple as that. This is Coach Rowe with Players First. Keep shooting.